Dartrace is a well-oiled sales and marketing machine, as Slick and Turbocharged is a multi-million pound McLaren Formula One sponsorship deal it uses to entice prospective clients, and yet the cybersecurity company continues to be overshadowed by questions about its technology and founding investor. On the face of it, Darktrace is a great British tech success story. It was founded in Cambridge nine years ago by an alliance of mathematicians, former spies from GCHQ and artificial intelligence AI, experts. Its market value is almost £7 billion within months of its stock market float last April as investors clamored for a stake in the promise of a rare European superpower in the US-dominated cybersecurity space. And yet Darktrace has been on a roller coaster journey since then. The Moody Arctic share price rise post IPO that rapidly elevated Dark Trace to the FTSE 100 lasted just three months into a wave of negative sentiment pushed down the company's market value from its £10 peak, relegating it from the premium index of blue chip companies listed in London. Yesterday it became the biggest faller on London's FTSE 250 market, crashing almost 15% or 62p to close at 362p, as a flight to safety triggered by the Ukraine crisis and jitters over the wider reassessment of mostly US-based tech stocks made investors turn a skeptical light to its business. Earlier this month, short seller Shadowfall, which is understood to have a small short position in Darktrace, became the latest critic to weigh in after a Darktrace investor update that led to a momentary spike in its shares, a strategy one analyst has dug a deliberate beat and raised strategy. Matthew Earle, who heads the Shadowfall fund, has joined analysts Peelin in calling Darktrace's model and culture into question warning clients in a note that the company's model is watery thin and based more on sales style than business substance. What frustrates me generally is there always, no one really addresses the risks associated with these sorts of businesses. With Dark Tracer is a plethora of risks that have simply not been properly assessed. The, positive, trading update has not deterred us. I'm going to let time and gravity take its course. We have done a lot of homework on this company. And we are still looking into other angles, our thesis is broad. The company has long become used to dealing with the ongoing questions about Mike Lynch who, along with his wife, Angela Becares, is Dark Trace's second largest shareholder, and whose Invoke Capital was the company's first and biggest shareholder. The Autonomy co-founder continues to fight extradition to the United States where he is accused of fraudulently inflating the value of the company before its £8. For being sale to Hewlett-Packard in 2011, a charge he denies. 